everybody how you doing out there so yesterday we actually took a lionfish uh, while we were out spear fishing it was a big one 12 inches and what we're going to show you today is actually how to prepare that safely so with that i've got a couple of tools out here we're going to show you it should be pretty quick on how to take this fillet so check it out so here you can see everything we're going to utilize today in harvesting this lionfish we've got a really sharp knife We've got uh, some gloves that we actually use to harvest the fish. We're going to go ahead and put those on. Uh, no sense in not using it. Just make sure we don't cut ourselves in any way. And it's just really good practice when you're handling the fish. We've got our lionfish here today. Cutting board. And then the final plate that we're going to move this to after we take a fillet. So. This is our lionfish. And. It might look a little different than what you're thinking because we've already taken all of the the needles and the spines off of it. With a lionfish, there are actually 13 that come across the top, two pectorals on each side, and then three on the anal. So in this case, you can see we've already done this, got him ready to go here. Look at that. That was a 12 inch lionfish we took off of uh, Clearwater Beach. And so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work to fillet this guy. And all that I'm gonna do is come underneath the pectoral fin here and you can hold it there. I'm gonna make my knots right there. Then what you're able to do, turn it this way so you can see it. We're going to come down just this rib cage. So we're going to insert the knife, come here and flip it, but you want to keep the fillet attached to the skin. And you want to really make sure when you're doing this that you're pushing down against the spine here. Oh yeah, this knife is so much better than what we had before. So that as we take that, you can see right here, we've got a nice fillet. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a notch and come underneath, hold the skin with my finger. And then take that off. All right, so you can see that the skin just came right off. There's very little bit of the fish wasted in that part. Now what we want to do is we want to go back sure and make sure that we remove any bones. I think I did a pretty good job cutting around them. Now well, you can feel them right here. So you can just rub your fingers and you'll feel a little bit of the bones there from the ribs. And then just run your finger right along there, and there's our nice fillet. All right? All right. Now we're just going to repeat that and do that on the other side. All right, so now we're just going to repeat the other thing. We're going to come in here, make a notch behind the pectoral fin. Okay, come all the way down. Insert the knife. And you just want to make sure that you're pushing down on the spine to make sure you're getting all of the fillet. Now, on that point, I actually cut through it, but that's okay. We'll work with that. So at this point. I can get under here and get the skin. Could come from this way. Now you can see, I don't know if you can see that where I've got my finger under there. I'm gonna just run the knife. That's why it's so important. So this is our second fillet here that we just took. You can see here where I notched out the rib cage. Just there were a few bones as I ran my fingers through it. And now we've got these two nice fillets 
What we're gonna do next is actually a hogfish, and we're gonna have hogfish, lionfish, ceviche. Stay tuned. All right, so next, we've actually got some excellent hogfish. And hogfish are really tender, really tasty. And what you can see is that this is actually a male, because they have this stripe here, and they actually have this stripe coming down here, so on the tail and here. Because of this, when you're scuba diving, you see how this is white? The fish itself will look bright white underwater. So remember, red is the first color that you lose uh, when you go below 10 feet. So you can't see any of this beautiful coloring. You only are gonna see the bright white and the mark here on the tail. Also, this is a junior because he's just now starting to fill out his beak. All right, so same thing. We're gonna come down the pectoral fin and get us a little fillet off this. Try and make that incision right there. Just work our way down that rib cage, pushing down. Flop it over there. Much easier when you actually have the skin to hold on to. There's our fillet, and I can tell I've got the bones right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that away. A little piece here where the skin was still attached. Just go under that with the knife. So, there we have our hogfish fillet. All right, so we're gonna come under the pectoral fin here. Make a little notch here, and then come down the spine. that and be careful not to cut the skin just to cut the fish again that's why it's a really good idea to wear these gloves just to make sure you don't nick yourself cut away any excess rib cage access with bones there we have our filet so there you have it that's our little adventure today so far of how to prepare the fish come back in the next video we'll show you what we're actually going to do to really make a fresh ceviche with both our lionfish and hogfish check back take care